lights turn green Yeah, buddy, that's a dirt track thing Throwing wood, but it looks so clean Yeah, buddy, that's a dirt track thing You ain't gotta be a hillbilly or a redneck To be a victory lane Hold on tight, it's time for But it's really exciting for both my boys. My heart starts pumping every time they get on that track, and it, it, I, I think I, my heart's pumping way more than theirs while they're in the driver's seat. It's pretty exciting, especially when they're competing against each other. I know something's gonna happen between both of them. It's just funny. So, I mean, my dad did it a long time ago. I tried it for a year. I sucked at it, but, and we got these two boys in it, and uh, they're doing well. They're having fun, and I'm having fun watching them. Just as long as they don't tear nothing up, I'm happy. Just they finish the race, I'm happy. They don't have to win it, just finish it. I was probably eight to 10 years old. We first started out in, in go-kart racing on dirt track. Before me, my, my brother started racing, so I just kind of followed in behind him on go-kart racing. It started out at such a young age and, and not knowing you know, the memories you're making. And, and even before him, my grandpa goes back to him racing him racing with my dad and my, my uncle. Racing's in our blood. It's, it's one of the strongest things in our family. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we don't race anybody harder than each other. It seemed like the first year, every time we got on the track, the, our cars were like magnets. They always came together. <laughs> usually him and me. Every time anything ever happened, we're always harder on ourselves than we are each other. We always find it funny. Anything that ever happens, the other one's always so upset about it. We always help each other get better and better. But the joke of the week in the shop, who's gonna beat who? Who's gonna do what? And who, who made the right decisions? Who, who, who screwed up what part? So it, it's always fun. Uh, we keep it interesting. The more we push each other, the more we make each other competitive, you know, the better we're going to get. They're patient, and that's what it takes out there. Some nights they're not patient, and they'll tear the car up. And then when they come off, they said, I should have waited. Yeah, it's you, but it's whoever has a better car that night. They're both good drivers. They've both got good motors, good cars. It's just, it's just whoever's the best. I've raced plenty of races with two wide, with my brother in the corner. You're door to door, and you feel like you're inches apart, and you never touch coming out. And it, and coming out of that, and you keep racing clean, that's good racing. When, when you can trust the guy that you're racing against not to take you out, and, and you can run like that, that's when you get good shows. First race we raced, first time I was behind him going to the corner, I think I, I plowed him harder than anybody I ever, I ever have and, and tore his car up. You, you hate to mess your brother's car up, but you don't race anybody harder, you know? I can be racing anybody out there, but if it's John next to me, even though we're in here, Week after week, helping each other, we're racing each other harder than anybody else. And there's so certainly sibling rivalry and back and forth talking in the shop who's better, who's not. But you know, at, at, at the end of the week, we're there for both of us, both of us to do well. Typical Thursday, scale the car, try to once over all nut and bolts or anything you can think of. It's usually a crunch day anyway. <laughs> Trying to make sure everything's done. Any of us didn't work too much in one week and, and didn't have time to do things. Usually that's the day that it's make or break, I guess. It gets me tired. It gets me real tired. Every night, till nine or 10 o'clock every night, we're working on cars three or four days a week. And then we come in a race and then they don't tear them up. We, we're, we're good the next week. We're not too tired, but it's a lot of fun doing it with my boys. Just something we do together and be together and hang out together. It's, it's great. Well, you never know what to expect going into one. I mean, you always, you're always easy on the gas, but quick to throttle up because a lot of people always when it on the bottom, you know, that's where it tracks, you know, it's one at Beaumont, but even on the start of a race over at Beaumont, there's a lot of stuff that goes on on the outside of one and two, and a lot of gain to, you know, ground to gain. It's dry or tacky or slick or what, what's going on. You know, I'm, we're always one that if everybody's doing one thing, why not try another? We turn right to turn left, you know? That's real racing. When you turn the opposite way you're going, that's racing. It's certainly adrenaline going in the corner and knowing if you should lift or you should just lay it on the wall, lay it on the floor and, and, and see what you got. And you know, asphalt's to get there and dirt's for racing. It's tough when you have a bad night to to come here and work all week just to give it another try. It's just, you know, the good nights and uh, the nights working with family, having everybody at the track, time spent, memories made. It's all about having fun, you know, it's, it's a blast. It's why we do it. You know, you gotta forget about the bad nights. It, it's tough to, it's tough coming back after them. 
You can't make no money doing this. I think I spent about uh, thirteen to 14000 last year racing. And all the money that we make that they win goes back into the race car. So it's, it's a hobby, trust me. You don't make no money off of it. If it's a business, I need to sell out. We've been losing for years. It's, it's, it's more of a hobby, you know, it's the, it's the thrill of the ride, the adrenaline you get racing. It could be worse, we could be at the bar. We could be doing other things, but yet we're spending time together at the racetrack. People have other hobbies that are, are way worse, I guess. Now the payouts for us, I, we have a, a family, I guess, account. A box it goes to, that it goes to our expenses at the end of the year, like now. You know, that's able to afford, you know, instead of out of pocket, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars or whatever it could be. It makes a whole lot easier on us. The racing community in general is a family. We're, we race each other Friday night. Saturday night, we give each other straight off our back. It wouldn't be as joyful just me doing it myself versus you know, having my brother and my dad, like you see behind me, in here working with me. You know, at the end of the night, you might spend a lot of money, might break a lot of cars, but you made memories with your family, you know, and those are priceless. You won't ever get them back, and, and God knows anybody that's raced with us, it's, uh, we fight and bicker every night. You know, but then in the night we go home, we love each other, and we show back up here next week ready to work, and, and, and that's why we do it.